Hello, hello. Today we have the Flare Palette by Ace Beauté. This usually goes for about $39, but I was able to get it on the Black Friday sales that just happened recently. This is a palette that I've been kind of eyeing for a while. I love the outside design. It's very pretty. It's all nice and orange. You have all that back information back there. Um, this is a cruelty-free product. It looks like it's from Texas. I, it's just such a pretty design. It's really nice. Now this is the first time I've ever gonna say this. I don't know how this review is going to go because I still kind of don't know how I feel about this palette. But what I can tell you is that this feels like a it's me not you. I had I feel like a lot of difficulty using this palette but it feels like to me that it wasn't the palette's fault it was my fault and I don't know of course, this is a review, so this is my experience with this palette for the past week. It kind of feels like this is almost like, let's call it an advanced palette. You, like, this is, some people said that Beauty Killer 2 was an advanced palette. You really knew how to mix your colors and kind of like where everything should go and how to do the application and all that stuff. I feel like this palette isn't just a palette anyone could use. This isn't a palette that I would necessarily gift away to anyone, which is why I am passing it on to my cousin who is an MUA. I, c I could not figure out how to work with this palette. I, f I tried. I was so excited. Oh my god, when you see the color story, let's open her up. So as you can see there, there is a mirror, and of course it has this really pretty design right there, but we're going to cover that up to show you the color story. I love this color story. It's so bright. It's so fun. When I see this color story, I think it's a really good color story to transition from fall into winter, from fall into the cooler months. And that's why I picked up this palette and that's why I decided to test it out now because we are we are now actually in December, but it is technically still fall. So I thought this was a really good palette to do your transition from your warmer tones to your cooler tones. And I've been trying to figure out why maybe this didn't work for me. Because first of all, there is only four shimmers, but I was like, I think I can live with that. Um, looking into the camera now, we can see that these three oranges are, they are different colors. I think you can quite tell that, but they are quite similar in range. And I think that's the issue with all of them. They're kind of all very strong, very intense. For your light shades, you have probably just cider, mulberry, and is this sherbet down here? Everything else is a, what I would be a dark color. These three, I would put on my outer corner. Um, these three I would put on my outer corner, these two I would put on my outer corner. There really isn't any medium shade, it just goes from a f three, maybe, light colors, and then everything else is really dark, really intense, and I don't know if that's why I was having such difficulty with it, it's just not the way that I personally apply my makeup, because I don't think I really had any real issues with this palette. Um, I think maybe this, what's it called, Bayberry, was a little too soft. Um, very crumbly, coming out of the pan, but once applied on the eye, you know, I think it looked really pretty and it worked well. Um, maybe the same for Firefly. But other than that, like, I don't... It's not like these colors were hard to blend. Um, I think I made the same comment about the other Ace Butte palette. If you place the color, you can place the color. If you want to blend it out the matte color, you can blend out the matte color. It, I think the mattes worked quite well. They were very pigmented. So this makes me feel like I just had an issue trying to figure out looks for myself using this palette. I like to uh, judge the palettes by how I can use just this palette. Maybe this is more of a complimentary palette. Maybe this is a palette you pull out alongside a palette that has very light colors. I don't know. But I definitely am happy I did not take this palette with me on vacation anywhere because I don't know how I would have used these colors. If you do a bit of a closer up, you can see we have kind of this shimmery one right here. It's very pretty. Let's see. We have an eyeshadow breakdown right here. So that is Biscotti, and it, this is a metallic duochrome, according to the website. It goes from mauve to light gold. And all the other ones are metallics. But they're very pretty. They're very nice, intense colors. I don't think I could figure out how to do it. So first I'm going to... I want to swatch these two. So this is the first color that I that I used, this blue one down here, and I tried to use it on a brush. So let's do a comparison. I actually brought brushes because I wanted to show you guys. So I'm going to do this first 
this is a finger swatch. Beautiful, right? Once I applied this to my eyelid with my finger, it was fine. Now I have a brush over here. This is a Sigma brush. I think we can all agree Sigma brushes cost money, right? Like they're one of the brushes that a lot of people talk about in this community as being kind of like a higher end brush. So here's me digging in and I am going on dry. I don't wet my brushes. I should be able to just pick it up with the brush, but as you can see here, it doesn't really pick it up. If we go to the website, which I have open here right now, it says, um, we recommend using your flat firmer brushes. This is a flat firmer brush. It's a good brand brush too. And do you, y'all see in this? So that's using the brush. Do you see the difference? This palette forces you to use your fingers to get any payoff on these shimmers. And that's also part of my issue because I don't like to use my finger. I think if I want to use my finger, I'll grab my individual eye glosses or the singular ones from um, ColourPop. Like this is not, I don't like that. I don't like that I can use a good brush and it's still, you're not gonna see any payoff on your eye. You have to use your finger. My favorite shade in here, surprisingly, this one is, I feel like this one feels like a different formula. I know they said that everything except for this one, these three are supposed to just be metallics, but this is so pretty to me. Oh, it's gorgeous. This is a color that makes me sad that I'm gonna have to give this palette away because it is so pretty, so pretty and like, is foiled the right word? That is so pretty. I love that on my eye. I loved it. Um, now I'm gonna use, again, the brush. I'm gonna use the other side. And I'm going, the side that I didn't use the blue one. I'm gonna go in here too. I'm not digging around. I'm just trying to collect color. I was able to get a bit more on this one. This is one of the better colors I was able to use. I'm gonna go over here. And yeah, kind of, it's sheer. You see a bit more, so that's nice. But you're not gonna get the same intensity as you will with a finger. You guys can see this, right? So I just wanted to show that for the shimmers. I'm a shimmer girl, I'm always talking about the shimmers. I love the shimmers. Um, I brought my uh, fluffier brush. This is a Huda Beauty blending brush. It says Eye Blender on there, right there. And I'm just gonna, I think all of them were quite good. Um, I don't know which one I might want to show off. Maybe let's do cider and moss. And I can blend in cider and moss together so you guys can see. So I'm gonna use cider. I love yellow. I'm wearing yellow right now. So this would have gone very well with what I'm already wearing. I'm just gonna put it there on my brush. Like I said, if you want to place it, you can place it. You can just tap it down like that. You don't even have to blend it out. There is some kick, pan kick back in the pan. I don't really care. That's not an issue for me. But I just want to note it because I can see it in front of me. <sighs> it's that yellow. And it's pretty. I think I don't think it's anything, as Madison says, to write home about. But it's not, it's not bad. I'm going to go into moss. And this is a darker one. And I'm going to place it. You can place it as well. It's just so you can see me placing it. You can just tap it onto your eye and it'll stay there too. I feel like, I hope I'm capturing this right. But yeah, you can see that there. You can tap it on if you have to tap it and then you can blend it in. And you can blend it out. Like I said, I don't think it has anything to do with the shades. I think it's all me. And I can't get what I want on my eye what I imagine I can't it just it just not translating well it's just not easy for me as you can see that that's a really pretty blend out you know you can keep blending it out as you want it's very pretty look so I I want to reiterate it's it's a very much a it's it's me not you situation which is why it's difficult for me to say whether I recommend or not recommend um, I think if you're a much more experienced uh, person with makeup I think you should give it a go and try and figure it out. I don't really like um, accompanying palettes. I like one good palette. I like to be able to look at my palettes, pick the palette I want to use, and then just, you know, take it with me to the bathroom and just use that one palette. I don't like dipping into multiple palettes because I usually don't have my all my palettes right in front of me. And I have so many palettes, it just doesn't make sense for me to be pulling them all out and trying to figure out which shade do I want to use. I really like the color story. Um, I wish the shimmers applied better on the eye with a brush. Um, once applied with a finger, it is very pretty, as you can see. But yeah, the mattes are really nice. The shimmers apply great with a finger. 
but I, I have to pass this along. This just is not a palette I can really... I'm, I'm struggling with this one. I really was struggling with this one, and I'm glad that I'm able to see that it, and say that it's not the palette. It's not an issue with the palette. It's just an issue with me. I just struggled with this one. But please let me know what your thoughts are below. I think we can all agree this is a really beautiful color story. But what is your experience with Ace Beauté? Because this is my third palette with Ace Beauté, and the only one I've even remotely enjoyed was that entirely yellow one. This is another Ace Beauté palette that's just gonna have to leave my collection. But let me know your thoughts below. Everyone have a great day.